So in this video, I'm going to show you how to trigger Niagara effects in Sequencer. And um, there's so many Niagara effects that you can get. Many are free. I went and got a pack, I think, called Pyro uh, VFX. I think they were paid, but it doesn't matter because different Niagara effects will work the same way. So I really like this uh, Fire Trails one. And um, there it is. So I'm dragging that in. You get to see what it does. Now, one of the things with Niagara effects, they usually auto activate. So you want to disable that so that when you're in sequencer, it doesn't uh, create a conflict. So I'll click on the de auto deactivate. And <clears throat> so now what I'm going to do, is I'm going to go and create a level sequence and basically drag the Niagara effect in there. So let's go grab it if ever it's not selected. Select it and then you can drag it right into the timeline. First thing you're going to have to do is identify as a Niagara component because then it enable, there's different things you can do. And there's quite a few things in here. We're going to be using the FX uh, tra system tracking uh, node, if you like. And what we're going to do is we're going to click deactivate, but then right away create a keyframe because we want it to be deactivated at the beginning. And then as it gets going, we want to activate it wherever you want in your timeline. Um, so I get to see what it looks like and it blows up. Um, I'm going to also add an audio track in here. Uh, and uh, you might not hear it in the recording, but it's going to be there. Um, I'll try to tweak it. So get the... Um, maybe if you bought a pack, it'll come with the specific sound that goes exactly with whatever you have or... Maybe go get a sound effect on you know, a website or YouTube or something that sounds uh, like what you would like it to sound like. Uh, and so I'm just going to go and grab that. There, give me a second. So there we go. I got it dragging it in. And so oh, the recording is kind of acting up. So I'm adding a camera and so that I can see what I'm going to be recording. And I'm not even going to bother with uh, playing around with the camera. I just want to basically uh, export the audio and the video, which is now able to be done. And I'm going to rename this so I can easily identify the audio and uh, easily identify the video. And um, give me put that in. I'm going to capture this now. Save. Good. I always go and double check using a, I use VLC player uh, or a movie player of your choice. Seems to work pretty good. So yeah, that is pretty good. So um, I use the basic renderer because uh, it works the best. Okay, if you have any other questions, please let me know.